to sell them for their parts. But anyhow, he caught this big guy all by himself, and he decided rather than killing him, he was actually going to use him as a breeder male here. So he put on a pie with another breeding pair named Igor and Ali. So anyhow, he did a lap around his new place, put everything in a little bit, and he went up to Igor. Said, hey man, you know, I like your pies, I like your food, and I really like your girl. But I don't like you. So big Al, he went into a bit of a tussle. Uh, Sparing all the details, Igor, he does not work here anymore. But he did not go down to fight. He did see that Al Lindar was injured from being shot at. So what he did was he grabbed all two of his teeth and he death broke them. So now Al Lindar is pretty much on functioning. He just make him very slow moving on land, but still running fast in the water. After this, you know, Big Al Alley and the tall mug got married, the whole thing, and they lived happily for a few years. That was up until 1998, because that is when the former owner of this property, we decided to abandon it, with 1,100 alligators still here. So, seven years later, our owner, he did buy the property, he got a new name where it was told him how many alligators were left here. So, after seven years, when they counted up all the alligators on the property, there were only two left, and that was Big Al and Ali. Now, this is partly because alligators, they are cannibalistic, so they could have turned each other, not being fed. So, but then also, you know, fences, they were not being maintained during this time. We have floods, we have hurricanes, and there's a bayou about five minutes out of direction, so they could have also taken that out of here. Either way, we only had our two alligators left, so we didn't have to build a place of quite a bit. But they got Ali, again, they lived happily for some time. It wasn't until one day our owner, he came into the parking lot, and he saw Ali out there. I mean, she had her bags packed, her horse papers in hand, she was not happy. Turns out her and Big Al we fit into a bit of a fight. Now, we did not know who started it. But Big Al, he finished it, because he threw her out, literally. He took her by the tail, threw her over the fence, taking off eight inches of her tail when doing so. Now, we do not support domestic violence here, so we did not have to separate the two. Got Big Al here in his bathroom pad, living there and happy with a belly full of food. And Allie's actually in her pulling out this direction. We have a sign out there that says X Alley. And she's there with a few new boyfriends of her own. 